Hey YouTubers, welcome back to another episode here on ESGNet of MLB 13 Road to the Show with Theo Bonds. This is episode 73. And as you see there, we're getting ready to play against the Cubbies, who are 64 and 80 for the season. And as you know, uh, in the last episode, we uh, played against the Reds, and Theo had a monster series uh, against them. Uh, he was uh, he had six home runs. He was, I uh, believe, uh, 9 of 13 uh, at the plate, and he had 10 RBIs driven in in that last series against the Reds. So we'll see if that can carry on uh, into this series. Of course, the Cubbies that we're playing against are our nemesis uh, for last uh, century or so. So we'll see what we can do against them. Hopefully, we can put some more distance between us and the Brewers, who we'll play against in the next episode. As you see, the Brewers are only five games behind us and playing some really good baseball. They're eight of ten, or excuse me, eight of two of uh, their last ten games. So uh, we'll see w uh, what we can do uh, if we can put uh, any distance between them um, and us. And as you see, like I said, the Cubs right there are dead last in the division with 23 games. But before we uh, get into the action, we got the guys upstairs at MLB uh, 13, the show, uh, giving us a little player spotlight uh, before the game about Theo and his amazing um, career he's having so far, especially in the last game against the Reds. So we'll go up to the booth and have those guys take it away. Welcome back. I'm Matt Vaskersian here on the MLB pregame show. As we draw closer to the first pitch in this series opener, let's have a look at our tops player spotlight. Theo Bonds will be our focus. And when you draw up what the ideal baseball player would look like, you have to figure he'd look a little bit like this guy. He just continues to excel beyond expectations for such a young player. Well, I was able to sit down with his manager before the game and he said that it's not just what he does on the field. It's also a tremendous clubhouse presence for a guy with relatively so little experience. He's really starting to gain the respect of his teammates and the organization as a whole. I, I think if he keeps this up, he has a great chance to have a long and successful major league career. Okay, Eric, Steve, and I are ready for baseball and we'll have it for you next on the show. So there you see we just got some good words about Theo Bonds um, according uh, to the manager uh, that Matt Rushkirchner said he talked to uh, or the guys up from the booth said they got uh, from, a, from the manager. So, you know, the team's pretty much rallying around him as a young player and he's become a leader in the um, clubhouse. So go ahead and get to his first at bat there. You see he chops it to the third baseman there for an easy out. And um, so, you know, the team, Matt Holliday and everybody is kind of, you know, rallying behind him. He's becoming a team leader and really helping out the team, um, uh, setting the, uh, you know, uh, the standard of what the locker room is going to be like and whatnot. And, of course, you don't get that from a lot of young pitcher or a lot of young players, um, any, and really in any sport, uh, until really until they get to their, you know, third or fourth year. So there you see he strikes out nine at bat right there when the bases are loaded and couldn't bring anybody home. Um, so so far in these two at first these two at bats right here in this first game of this three game series against the Cubs, uh, struggling a little bit. And of course, you know, he's you know, he's coming off of uh, you know, hitting six home runs well as they said seven home runs in that last in the last ten games. So bases are loaded, bottom or top of the fifth here and this one uh, this one is a dribbler right there in the shallow center field there. You see he drives in uh, two runs, and so he brings in two runs uh, to a, a, a two-run RBI single. And that at bats the top of the six here. 7-2 uh, is a score We're up by five. And there you see uh, Bonds trying to run that one out. Almost, uh, almost getting close to getting some speed on him, uh, but he does get out on that play. So we'll go to the top of the eighth here. Bases, uh, runners at first and second. Nobody out. And there you see this one's going deep. This one's back. And this one is gone. Home run. Theo Bonds, that is home run. Number 65 for him for the season. Uh, 65th home run. And there you see uh, hitting in David Freeze once again. Freeze 
thinking, yeah, this kid is uh, definitely, um, good. you know, he's <laughs> he's amazing. <laughs> With the things he's doing, so there you see uh, Freeze and I believe Johnny Peralta coming in there. Um, for that three-run shot right there, which will put us, I believe, at 10-2 um, for the ball game. There you see that one going deep to left center uh, field out there. So the final score, 10-2. Uh, we win it. Uh, our Bonds, 2 for 5 for the day. One home run and five RBIs. And you see Lynn gets, his, uh, one, he gets another win for him for the season. And there you see... Uh, the top player of the game, no other than Theo Bonds, uh, having a pretty decent game, like I said, and uh, but struggling uh, just a bit. You know, of course, he just came back off from a you know three or six six home run uh, stint in the last series, and, and like I said, I believe I mentioned this in the last video. Uh, he's his numbers are in, in pretty much in every category uh, is on uh, the Reds. So when he plays the Reds, for some reason. He really heats up, and um, you know, hopefully uh, they'll continue on throughout the season or the remainder of the season, and also into the postseason. Uh, of course, you know we won't be playing at Reds, but uh, hopefully, uh, we'll you know he'll there's another team that he can um, hit off of uh, the way he has been against the Reds. So we go to the top of the first here in the first at bat, and that one is going deep, and that one is gone. That is home run number 66 from Theo Bonds. Hitting that one is first at bat in his game two of this series. And there you see that one's deep. And the Cubs fans, of course, not like it because they are dead last. Uh, and, you know, of course, Bonds being up the bat and hitting that home run just puts more salt into the wound right there. So there you see Bonds again hits that solo shot there to bring him home. We'll see the replay here. Yeah, he gets all of that and more. Hitting that ball deep to uh, left field, and yeah, you can send that one uh, into the street there. That ball is long gone. Home run, Theo Bonds. So top of the fourth here, nobody on board and nobody out. Bonds gets a one or one zero pitch. This one is going deep. This one is back. It's gone. Home run, Theo Bonds. His second at bat for the day. He is two for two so far at this point. As his 67th home run of the season. So Bonds already now hitting three home runs in this series. And uh, hitting, uh, what is it, four for uh, seven already uh, in this series. So there you see this one uh, just, I mean, what can you guys say? But I mean, he's reading the ball well and just timing it just perfectly. I mean, this guy is, you know, honestly, I, I really don't want to use it, but could he be the next machine, you guys? I think I've said this before in, in this series, but he could be the next machine. He could be the next Albert Pujols, uh, just hitting home runs uh, just, you know, automatically. So, there you see he strikes out that in his uh, third at bat here in this game. Um, you know, of course, you know, with a home run, she's going to have a lot of strikeouts, so... You see that one, he goes swinging after that one, and that one's not even in the zone um, for that at bat. So top of the eighth, nobody out, nobody on board there. You see a chop right there towards the pitcher, and gets the easy routine out right there. Uh, so there you see, uh, he has already has a strikeout for the day, and uh, we'll see this last at bat, I believe this is his last at bat here. Uh, runners at second and third, and this one is going sky high. This one, I believe, is going to stay right in the ballpark. Yep. Uh, second baseman is there for that easy out. Uh, there, his last at bat for the day. And uh, as you see, I believe we are down by a run at this point in the ball game. 9-8. Uh, and there you see, yeah, that one just gets sky high. Not enough on that one to push that ball out. But, yeah, we end up losing this one 9-8. Uh, Bonds two for four, or excuse me, two for five for the day. Two home runs, two RBIs, and Mike Matheny giving him a pat on the back, saying "Good job, kid." So now we go ahead and get to uh, the next at uh, the last uh, game of the series, uh, game three. And as you see, Bonds coming in and the top of the ninth, the score four two, leading by two, and you see the runners at first and second, and we'll see 
if uh, Bonds can do anything with this at bat. So, run out, oh, nope, uh, there he goes, striking that one out, and that one was a fast, uh, forcing fastball, high and outside right there out of the zone. And they know he is a, uh, you know, he's a shooting uh, when it comes to those fastballs. Uh, he likes them, and he, you know, he, if he can get a hold of one, he's going to take one and put a charge on it. So, there you see we win the game 4-2. In that uh, game four uh, ball game, so uh, he was 0 for 1 for the day and a strikeout and batting average of 377. So uh, as you see there, 377 average, uh, 67 home runs and 130 RBI. If I'm not mistaken, I believe he sh and I think in the National League, I think he's either first or second in the RBIs, and I believe he's uh, second or third overall in Major League Baseball so we'll see you know he's 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 kind of flirting with history uh, he could uh, be Miguel Cabrera and in, 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 uh, winning the Triple Crown this year in his rookie year remember this is his rookie year so we'll see uh, if he that can happen in uh, the next episodes uh, actually there's not too many games left I think there's about maybe um, I don't know five five or six series left in this season so far so we'll see what uh, we can do when we go uh, on, continue on the road uh, and we're going to Milwaukee when we're going to play the Milwaukee Brewers we'll see what we can do against them of course he struck he has struggled against them um, in, uh, in past episodes so we'll see if he can change that and uh, do well and also you know he's getting close to 73 you guys so we'll see what he can do um, in the uh, next episode. So can you guys come on back uh, for the next episode of MLB 13 Road to Show with Theo Bonds. Also, check out uh, the links down below to our Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr page. So check those out and, and uh, subscribe and join uh, and be a part of the ESG Net Nation. Uh, so as always, you guys, keep such a healthy, and I will see you guys next time.